Hey guys, it is Thursday, March 11th. I have 12 eBay orders to ship out and after that I'm heading up to Wapakoneta. Um, I've been going every other week and meeting with a nice lady that drives down from Toledo. So that's about halfway for her. She always brings me a carload of stuff. She sends me a lot of pictures in advance. So I have a pretty good idea of what it is. And there's a lot of good stuff she's bringing me today. I'm really excited about it. Last time I did it, I came back and unloaded everything and showed you guys what I got. So I'll try to do the same thing today. I think you guys enjoyed that last time. I'm also swinging by to see my buddy Danny from Piqua Resellers, uh, cause he is right on the way home for me. He's in Piqua, so it's like 20, 30 minutes I think it's like 20 minutes south of Wapakoneta is what it is. And he's got some stuff too. So we're going to swing by and see what he's got for sale. All right. First thing is a pen and pencil set. Let's see. It's in C41. I got this recently uh, from my guy, Mike, as part of a bulk buy. So I've maybe got about $5 into it. The brand is Schaefer. And their pen and pencil sell for pretty good money. Let's see if I can get this thing open here. So there's a total of three pieces. There's two pens, one pencil, and a nice leather case. I really couldn't find good prices on these specific ones. So I decided to do an auction starting at a dollar. And they sold for $19.30 plus shipping. Next is over here in D32. It is this really cool bar lamp by Inesco. even has a little holder for bar dice right there. Plug this in, it works great. I got it two weeks ago on my last trip up to Wapakoneta. So I've got about five, ten dollars into it, something like that. And it's over $24.99 plus shipping. The name Michael got that lamp. Michael, thanks so much for the support. Okay, next thing is a hat. It's an old inventory code. This is a B6, but I think I see it right here. This is an Olympic U.S. Open hat, uh, new with the tags from 1998. I only have a dollar into this, and uh, it was part of the sale that I'm running, so I think it was like 35% off. It sold for $13.49 plus shipping. Next thing is an E42 right here. I just got this recently as part of a big buy of media and some other random stuff. This is a um, Pokemon 2 DVD set. Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. That sold for $14.99, free shipping. Next is over on D3. It's a couple of pair of headphones that I'm selling for my mother-in-law. Brand new in the box. Um, they're by the White's Metal Detecting Company. Each of these sold for $39.99, plus shipping. Next is back here on the F-Rack. I've already got it bagged up. This is a kid's Harley Davidson leather jacket. I've got about $5 into this. Um, I've had it for quite some time. It's also part of the sale that I'm running. With the discount, it's sold for $22.49 plus shipping. Sold a couple of shirts. These were in my office area. I had these set aside to put in my storage unit, but they sold before I could put them in there. This is a Dale Earnhardt shirt. Um, it says legendary on the back. Has a pretty cool look to it. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. That's going out to a viewer named Jimmy, and he also bought a diecast car. Uh, up here on D1, let's see, it is this Sprint, Adam Petty Sprint car, probably right in front of my face, and I'm just not seeing it. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, this is it, Adam Petty. Uh, this is also something that I had on discount, 21, 24 plus shipping is what it's sold for, so I'll just combine both of these in the same box and refund him the difference of the shipping cost. Jimmy, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. And the next shirt we sold is a 1990 dirt bike shirt. It was from um, the Devil's Staircase Hill Climb in Oregonia, Ohio. I think it's Oregonia. has a really cool logo on it. Uh, that sold for $29.99 plus shipping. That dirt bike shirt is going nuts of you named Daniel. He says, I'm a fan of yours and saw this on Instagram. Weirdly, you once bought a Super Nintendo controller for me after making a video about how you needed one. So now I'm returning the favor. Daniel, I remember that. It's been quite some time now, but I remember after I bought it, he, you messaged me and it's like, wow, what a small world. I watched your channel and you found this controller in my store on eBay. And it worked great and I sold the system. So Daniel, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Next thing I'm shipping out is a clock. This one right here, it is Vintage Clock by the Lackner Company out of Cincinnati, Ohio. It has a really awesome Art Deco look to it. I got this in an online auction a couple of months ago. I paid $20 for it, and with the sale that I'm running, it sold for $59.49 plus shipping. Last thing I'm shipping out is in D32, right here. It is an AC Milan soccer jersey. I got this at Goodwill about two or three weeks ago. I paid $5 for it. 
Had it listed for like $25 plus shipping. Somebody offered $20 plus shipping and I accepted. All right guys, orders are packed up. Let's hit the road. All right guys, the first deal is done. She doesn't like being on camera, so I don't really film or anything like that, but you guys can get an idea. There is a lot of stuff back there. So when I get back to the warehouse, I will pull it all out and show you guys what I got. And now we are heading to see my buddy Danny, see what he has. Good man. I set my mask aside. Yeah, it is pouring out there. I was upstairs for a second, and uh, I heard it. And I was like, man, I didn't know it was going. This is from Chaney and Parker. Oh, Have you awesome! Ever seen those? Miniature those records. No. Shoe bops, bubble gum record. Yeah. They want you to eat the gum real quick. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. So, how was your trip? Uh, the drive up was fine, but from Wapakoneta to here, it was just a total downpour. I could barely even see. Here's that. Oh, nice. This one sells for 30 but this one here is filthy. But it, it'd still probably bring a little more. It's older. Yeah, just needs a wash. Yeah, I'm going to maybe do a little video on how you clean up nasty hats. Especially yeah. When it says oh, yeah, sports specialties. That's a good one. So, uh, what's, what's for sale? What's not for sale? This is what I just got from the estate sale. Okay. So really just limited. I only researched this, wherever that Steelers have. Okay. And then what's under there? Those three were over here. I just kind of grouped them together. And I got all these tools. And this was four ninety nine. dollars The other two say five ninety nine, but she charged me four ninety nine a piece. So and then I got all these pots and pans. And then this here is the like um, Craftsman. Like name brand tools. Okay. That was I went through. Those have some that I just never heard of. It looks like Wagner. Yeah, they all are. One of them's a Griswold. I don't know if it's this one. Now see this here is actually worth like sixty bucks. I saw it. It is as long as it is Wagner wear. I actually um somebody reached out and said they had a stove. Yeah. So I'm buying a stove so I can bring it here. My mom's gonna clean them because they stink when you do it. Uh, oh, okay. Sarah put a note to it. Yeah, see, it was at Griswold. Are you, wanting have, to, are you wanting to clean them before you sell them? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I want to make videos. Yeah. Now, yeah, one yeah. of them's a rare. They're right there. Have you ever seen the Sydney cursive? I have not. I've never. My dad even looked down and said, no. That's cool. That Vader is cool, man. Okay. Holy cow. Huge. Now, I did notice this after. Like, it must have fell. A little bit of wear. It must have had a cat or something. Cat, yeah, I yeah. had this real little lint roller, so uh -huh. it just needs to be clean. I... The Force is with you, <laughs> but you are not a Jedi. Yeah, it's cool, like, man. Damn. And I don't, I know nothing about Star Wars. I just scanned that right there and it seemed yeah. like the most Which I don't know how much shipping would be because it seemed like everybody did free shipping. No way, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't ship it. It's too big. That's what I, I was wondering if you were going to stick it Just for there. the sizes alone, <laughs> for the size alone of what it is, like it would cost. Fifty dollars minimum. So this is new. You said this is your uncle Elmer. Yeah, he's actually he's he. Uh, I ran into him at uh, Goodwill yesterday. I was walking in. He was walking out, and we got to talking. And he wants to start like um, maybe like on a Saturday weekly racing chat. He um, he's an Amsoil dealer, and uh, he uh, at our local racetrack. He always supports them. And like um, two years ago, all street stock that whole division. He sponsored that whole division, so everybody had Amsoil. On, oh, that's like, cool. Window. Yeah. And then there's a an Amsoil night. Like he's really into it. He's a uh, he's older, so he can't race or anything, and so he's been selling Amsoil for since I was young, young. Wow. <clears throat> so awesome. he was like one of the first when Amsoil started. He doesn't have a name or nothing yet, and we do a weekly started weekly lives. So I told him when he got it, and I would uh, try to help him, even though I don't know much. But yeah, it's pretty cool. nice, man. That's cool. So these are the golf clubs you're talking about. Yes. Now this is this is what he said. He said thirty dollars for this. I could pick out a couple of these. So these just could be nothing. And then like I seen this, I'm pretty sure that ain't supposed to be there. Yeah, the dents. <laughs> yeah. So you were asking me what the iron is. Okay. So. This is a driver. This is what you would tee off with on like a par four or par five. It's gonna drive the ball the furthest of any of the club. 
Um, then there's like fairway woods, like this is a five wood. Uh, and then these are irons. So iron sets usually come three to pitching wedge and it looks like they're all here. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then after the nine is the wedge, just and right there. All right, so I got a hat, I got the uh, cornhole, golf clubs and Darth Vader. Under. Let's do a 120 because then you get to double your money on it. Okay. Does that work? Yeah, that's awesome. And then I think there's still a little bit of profit there for me. Yeah. And then... Last time they were all fake, so I better take this to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> How's your uh, you boost go, going? Um, no, it's going pretty good still. I find that the more I go and the more stuff I put in, the better it does. All right guys, it is now the following day. I got back pretty late last night, so I didn't have time to dig all this stuff out and show you guys what I bought. I think you got a pretty good idea of what I bought from Danny. I got this massive Darth Vader, uh, like figure statue thing with the lightsaber and everything. I got some ping irons from him, a little like travel cornhole set and that Steelers hat. Uh, but in Mapa Canada, I got a whole lot more. I got a ton of records. Like there's like five or six boxes of these things. And I'm probably going to pull out some of the ones that I want to put in my booth that I think will sell well. And then a buddy of mine does a lot with records, so I'm probably going to be selling him the rest. There's some more records here, a couple boxes. Here's a box of 45s. Got some stereo equipment right here. And then there's a bunch more boxes of stuff that I'll pull out and show you guys. Just like last time, I paid $200 for everything, and I think it's a really good deal. There's definitely some money to be made. This is um, the pig character from Toy Story. I wanna say his name is Ham. Does that sound right? This thing is massive. Let's see, from 2010, I think, yeah, so the top comes off, and it looks like this thing, there's a hinge back here, so this should lift up somewhere. I don't want to break it though. We got a vintage sleeping bag and I think it has a lot of airlines on it. So we got Pan Am, which I think has been out of business for a while. United, Allegheny, North Central Airlines. Yeah, that's a pretty cool piece. We got some motorcycle decor. That's probably gonna go in my antique booth. I like that. Oh, check this out. Original Nintendo Power Glove with the box. Box has a little bit of damage, but not that bad. Let's dig this thing out. I remember being a kid and seeing commercials for this and wanting it so bad. And I'm glad my parents didn't buy it in hindsight because I don't think it worked too well with the games. Like in theory, you know, it was cool, but as far as actually controlling the games, I don't think it did a very good job. All of its attachments and stuff, I think this connects and like forms some kind of square or something? I don't know, I never have used this thing. I've seen videos of it. I don't know if you guys have ever heard the channel Gaming Historian, it's one of my favorite YouTube channels, but he reviews like old video game stuff and tells the history behind it, it's pretty cool. And I think he's done a video on the Power Glove. Look at this thing, how cool is that? Pretty clean too, considering the age. Yeah, this is an awesome piece. Got some old trucks. There's a nice old Tonka. That is really clean. Most of the time when I find these, they're all rusted out, but... Yeah, this is like one of the cleanest old Tonka trucks I've ever seen. Mound, Minnesota. Here is an old Nylant. I don't think these are quite as valuable as the Tonkas, but I think there is a demand for them. Got a Cincinnati Bearcats hat, new with the tags. That's pretty cool. Cam Newton uh, Hallmark ornament when he was playing for the Panthers. All right, in this box we've got MLB Superstars poster. It's kind of neat. Here's an old bicycle, I think it's a bicycle horn. We've got some vintage Cleveland Indians hats, or helmets rather. And I think this is the last season they're gonna be called the Indians. I think they're gonna change their name. They just haven't figured out what they're changing it to yet. Here's an old radio, Westinghouse. Pretty clean, missing a couple knobs. A few cracks on the side, but overall that's in pretty good shape. This box here, instead of digging everything out, I thought I'd just give you guys a quick glimpse of what's in here. Looks like we got a trailer for a John Deere tractor die cast. Another trailer. 
What is this? Wester Rider? That's interesting. When Dixie trailer. There's a bunch of trailers in here. There's an old fire truck. Let's see. Tootsie Toy, 1970. A lot of vintage trucks and cars in here. Might be some Redline Hot Wheels. I usually do pretty good with this stuff. I'll just do like one big auction for a bunch of cars. Started at a buck. Yeah, there's another one. Wester. Weiser River? Western Rider? Hard to read that. Horseback 400. That's a Buddy L. That's a cool truck. Win Dixie. So here's the truck that matches the Win Dixie trailer. Not seeing any red lines yet. But lots of Buddy L, lots of Tootsie Toys. That's an old one. Majorette, Pontiac Fiero. Alright, next box. We've got an old sack. Bimmy's Seamless. Maybe like an old green sack or something. Got some risque snap-on mugs. <laughs> like these were their models in the 90s. There's three of these, I think. Some old Budweiser coasters. Old Clydesdales. That's pretty cool. Here's an old Cincinnati Bengals. I think it's a 7-Up bottle. 7 Up Salutes of Cincinnati Bengals from 1974. It's got the old Riverfront Stadium on there. That's neat. There's an Olympus camera. Looks like a modern one too because it's got a full display screen on the back. You can always tell how modern a camera is by looking at the megapixels. This one's 14 megapixels so probably no more than 6 or 7 years old if I had to guess. Let's see if there's a year on here. I don't see a year but Olympus has good cameras so there's probably a market for that. Got some VHS tapes. The Shining, Firestarter with a very young Drew Barrymore, look at that, and Domestic Disturbance. There's a Microsoft Flight Simulator 2000. I don't think this one specifically is worth a whole lot of money, but there's some newer versions that sell for like 40, 50 bucks. So if you guys see these at garage sales, definitely pick them up. This is interesting. This is an Anchor Hawking commemorative bottle for 50 years. So it's from 1981, it says Plant 3. So I doubt they made many more of these at all. These might have just been for the employees. Here is an old realistic high power video audio tape eraser. I've never come, I've never come across one of these before. Kind of feels like an iron. We've got a Coca-Cola Polar Bear uh, bubble blower. That's neat. Check this out. This is a Jurassic Park Kodak camera with the case or maybe it's just the case so the case says Kodak Jurassic Lost World but nothing on the camera says Jurassic Park must have been like some kind of throw in like with the VHS that you would buy back in the day Let's see there's probably a camera in here it's a Nikon that's a nice one too Coolpix L120 all right next box got some old metal cups I don't see a maker anywhere on these. I'm not sure what these would have been for. It's a set of four of them. Got some cassettes. Orchestral favorites. Ooh, the Who. It's a good one. Who are you? Billy Holiday. Willie Nelson and another Billy Holiday. Oh, this is cool. I've sold this before. This is a mash vodka dispenser. That is so cool. I got this at a garage sale last year. I want to say I paid like a dollar or two and it sold maybe around 30 or 40. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, that's neat. This is really heavy, whatever's in here. Holy cow. Yeah, this is a huge glass ashtray. That thing probably weighs seven or eight pounds. The big eagle right in the center. Here's an old pro photo football. I've seen the uh, baseball version of this, but never the football. It's from Katico or Katico. Let's see if there's a year somewhere on this thing. I'm guessing from the 70s, but I can't find a year anywhere. Oh, wow. Really clean, though. Look at that. Doesn't even look like they played it. There we go. Copyright 1977. We got some more cassette tapes. 
quite a few of them actually. Let's see, Petra, Three Dog Knight, Genesis, Kenny Chesney, Reba McIntyre, Iron Butterfly, and I got a DeVita, I remember that song. Got another Stanley Thermos. This one's in a little better shape than the last one. We've got a sealed, oh no wait, not sealed, sorry, I thought it was sealed. Uh, Beach Boys 8-track tape. Still with the Target uh, little sticker there of 99 cents, that's cool. We've got another digital converter box. I'd love finding these because they're all over the place. The government issued a rebate for them. I want to say it's been like eight or nine years ago. Whenever they switched from analog to digital, they had like a 40 or $50 rebate to get these. And I think a lot of people got them for free and just never used them. Like this one still has all the original packing. This is brand new. I haven't sold one of these in a while, but I seem to remember the last new one I sold went for around 30 bucks. And the used, they go like 15 to 20. So if you guys see these out and about and they're cheap, pick them up. A few more things in this box. We've got a singing machine karaoke. It's got the microphone and charger and all that. Here's a little Iowa AM FM thing. That's cool. Got a um, unit and Bearcat scanner. Some lanyards. Here's like a Wii controller thing. All right, that's everything I bought, and that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.